What is going on guys? So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a unboxing, an installation and a review on the Fitcam dash camera. So if you've not heard of this company, they do dash cameras for pretty much every car available and they're all really well hidden behind the rear view mirror. So you don't have any like dash cameras sticking out on your windscreen or anything like that. Really nicely designed, um, but yeah. This one is for a Porsche Panamera 2019 model. So if you've got one of them, this video will go through how to install it. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So in terms of the box, it comes really well packaged. Pretty simple box. On this side, it's got kind of like the highlight features. I guess the main ones be Wi-Fi connection, super wide angle lens, and then HDR. The rest are kind of just standard dash camera stuff. Um, and obviously on the front, as you can see, it's 4K Ultra HD. So if we open this, there we go. We have quite well designed box. There's two things. So let's go with the dash cam first. And if we open this, so they do various models. This one is the one that has the rear camera as well. So as you can see, that's the rear view camera, which will be wired up to the boot. And then we also have the actual camera itself. So when you see this, you'll kind of understand the, the whole design side of it. So as you can see, that's literally the dash camera. And the idea is that it hides behind the rear view mirror. So it's super discreet. You can't even tell it's there. There's an SD card already inserted actually. So that is a nice surprise, 128 gig. That is a nice surprise. And then at the bottom, we have a couple buttons. So this I think is to take a snapshot and this is obviously to power it on, but we'll double check all that afterwards. Let's put that aside. I'll quickly open up the rear view camera. That's the rear view camera. What's nice is that they give these sticky pins so you can just hide the cabling along the top. I've not seen the company do that. We've got the accessories box. Put some goodies in here. This is the extension cable to connect up the rear dash cam, which will come in handy. This is a trim removal tool. And what's nice about this is as you can see, it's got felt tape on the edges. So you're not gonna damage any of your panels when you try and remove it, which is a nice touch. We've then got plastic trim removal tool as well. That's quite nice. And then this is the actual adapter. So this is how you connect it up to your rear view camera. So I think there's a few different models. One of them uses like the interior light to power it. This uses the rain sensor, I think. So you tap into that and then you get your own extensions out of it. And then also we have a micro SD card reader, which is another really nice touch. A lot of companies don't give you this level of like accessories. So it looks like it's micro SD and standard SD card reader with USB-C on this side and USB-A on that side. So that's really nice if you have a MacBook and you don't have any ports, that is quite a nice surprise. In terms of what else, you're literally just got a support card, which I must say they're really good at replying to emails pretty quick and then you have a user manual. So you can scan the QR code to watch an installation video of it. Obviously you're watching this one here now. Um, I've not actually opened this, but it looks fairly detailed. It explains all the buttons and stuff over here. How to connect to Wi-Fi, basic functions of it. And then the rest is just in like different languages and stuff. But I guess the next thing to do is to start installing it onto the car. So this is the mirror here. There's three parts, this bit, the middle bit, and then this back bit, which is what is going to be replaced with the camera here. So to take this off, you need to push this panel off first, this middle bit, then remove this bit. And then finally this bit will come off. Right, so I guess you want to use this one first. So when you put this in, you want to put it in there and push 
downwards. This is the tab they took off. All right, so once the main panel comes off, there's a tab here. You wanna pull this out. Once that pin comes out there, then you can remove this middle section next. All right, so once the big panel's off, the second panel's off, what you wanna do now is twist this whole section anti-clockwise and the whole mirror should start hanging off. All right, so the next step is you wanna disconnect this rain sensor here because this is what you're gonna tap into to connect it. So you can leave all this rope hanging in place you just want to get the pry tool and put it at the bottom of that lever there. Yeah, like that. And then it should just pull out. If you try and yank it out, it should just come out like that. And then from this stage, what you want to do is you want to take this back cover off and then we're going to replace it with the camera. Like that. Right, so the next step is to plug in the harness cable. So the one we've just disconnected from here is gonna plug into this foamy connector right there. All right, so we've plugged the harness into there and then you're left with these two here. So the one you took out from the mirror, the stock one, you wanna plug into this foamy connector right there. So then you're just left with one, which is here, and that will plug into the camera afterwards. All right, so next step is to rotate clockwise this time to lock the mirror back into place. And you should hear it snap like that, and it should be solid. So once the camera is locked into place, the next step is to put the actual dash cam on and you might have one wire if you haven't got the rear one. If you've got the rear dash camera model, then you will have two cables. So the longer one here is for the rear. So we'll just leave that running along the passenger side. This one is what you want to connect up to this connector right there. You can either fit it first and plug it in after or do it the other way around. It doesn't really make a difference, but we're going to try and put the camera on to the back. All right, so once you have this bit in, the final step here is to connect these two together. So there'll be a little notch at the top there and a notch over here. Make sure they're lined up and it should go in like that. And once that's done, just tuck it up at the top like that. And then if you've got the rear cam version, you wanna plug the extension cable into this and then run it along the back if you don't have the rear camera and you've got the front one, then you won't have this and you can start putting the panels back on the same way we took them off, but in reverse. What you want to do next is put the tab we removed earlier through there to lock it into place. So now this middle bit is secure by the two pins on either side and this. Okay. So the final step is this main piece here. Don't forget before you put this in, you want to put the pin through it. Connect this up, make sure the pins line up. Tuck both of those connectors behind there so it can't be seen. All right, so now, as you can see, it's a lot better because all you've got is the wire coming out and this can easily be tucked behind the headliner 
that way now you don't see anything all right so now this is with the dash camera installed and as you can see it looks all oem you don't see any wires or anything hanging out sd card goes on that side at the bottom you might not be able to see it just yet but there's buttons here to power it on and stuff and then at the very front you can see the lens right there so the rear camera we're gonna put right underneath the brake light right there so if we go ahead and open the boot the camera itself is going to sit right there to so just keep it hanging from here to here and we're going to run it underneath so right now the cable's coming up from here hidden all the way along there along this line here and then up along the door along there up along there straight to the back and then right there all right so in this gap there we're going to push all the excess through there through the headliner and then we'll stick the camera up and then measure how much we need all right so we've got the camera here I'm going to stick that in the middle over here okay and then we want to connect this into this like that and then hide this just inside so what we've done is cable tied this up and then this is going to sit inside there all right so you're going to have a bit of wire hanging out here we've put this trim back in all the way and then you've got a little bit there and that is the rear camera complete all right so when the parcel shelf is up you can't even see any of the wires and then if we close it from the top you can just about see the camera there i need to obviously twist this down so it faces out but that's all you can see so from the back, what you can see is just the camera and a bit of wire there. And that is the install complete. All right guys, so that was it for the install. Pretty simple. Um, on screen now, I'll put some of the footage that the dash cam has recorded. So as you can see, daytime footage is really good, really clear. Um, also nighttime footage is also pretty good. The only downside I'd say is that the lights, so if you look at the street lamps, the light kind of gets like a hazy blur to it um, as opposed to being crisp but other than that it's really good um yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can drop me a follow on instagram it's at rp26 and if you have any questions send it to me there probably reply back a bit quicker um but yeah if you are interested in the product use my discount code to get some discount off i'll leave that in the description below as well but yeah that's been it and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.